Right, so exports and imports. So exports are basically uh, foreigners spending on locally produced goods. And they depend on spending decisions made by foreign consumers. It depends on their foreign income, um, the local and ex local prices and international and world prices, the exchange rate, a change in uh, foreigners' taste. So this means that exports will not change as a result of changes in the equilibrium national income, right? So if I sketch the exports cur uh, the curve for exports, this is what it will look like. A simple straight curve with no in, uh, independent of changes um, in equilibrium income. Now, imports on the other hand depend on spending decisions of domestic residents, domestic consumers. So, if the national income rises, the demand for imported goods and services also rises, right? Um, and uh, the demand for some raw materials all, uh, also depends on the on the product on the production procedures of domestically pro, uh, domestic producers. So, if the national income rises, the demand for domestically produced goods say rise, and leading to an increase in demand for imported raw material, right? Which brings me to the marginal propensity to import, the, denoted by simply M, right? So. We said that exports uh, do not depend on income, which is why x is simply equals to x. But imports depend on the expending decisions of domestic residents, which means that it depends on the uh, national income, which means that m equals to my where m is a marginal propensity to import. So whatever the income, uh, whatever the income is. Uh, how much of that income will be used uh, to purchase imp uh, to purchase imports? Sorry, to purchase imported goods, right? So when y equals to zero, m is uh, um, imports are also equals to zero. So this curve will look something like this. This over here is m. This over here is x. Now let's talk about x minus m, the net exports function, right? Now if I have to sketch the net exports function, so x minus m, if I expand this, this will be x minus my, right? So the vertical intercept will be at x and the gradient will be minus m. So if I sketch this, This is what this will look like, x minus my, where the gradient is minus m. Now, I'll show you some regions. This region over here, where x, the exports, are greater than your imports, is called trade surplus, right? This region over here, where your imports are greater than your exports is known as trade deficit and the point where exports equals to imports this is balanced trade Now, exports and imports uh, uh, change due to quite a few reasons. Let's discuss a couple. Um, let's say there's a boom abroad. So if there's a boom abroad, this means that the incomes abroad are rising. So if incomes abroad rise, this leads to a rise in exports. This rise in exports lead to the income of exporters rise right and this further leads to my rise which means that the imports rise right now the change in x minus m depends on the magnitude of the change in exports and imports, right? But nonetheless, we'll assume that the change in x is greater than the change in m, which means that x minus m rose as a whole, leading to a rise in the aggregate expenditure function. 
The other reason say could be uh, relative inflation. So let's say if the local um, let's use figures to solve to decide this. Let's say in year not this is for local prices and the and this column is for prices abroad. Let's say the local prices in year not were and the local price in year in uh, the the local price abroad and you are not were both one let's say the inflation rate was higher locally than the inflation rate abroad which means that in year one the prices rose to 1.10 locally but the prices of foreign goods only rose by 1.07 this means that the locally produced goods priced out in the world market. This means that your exports fall. Exports fall because of priced out due to inflation. Right? And this also means that because of inflation, the locally produced goods were expensive while the uh, foreign goods, the imported goods, were cheaper. So imports rise as well. This means this implies that x minus m fell because exports fell while your imports rose. Right? This is the other reason why x minus m could shift. Now, of course, the case would have been different if the local inflation rate was lower than the inflation rate abroad. Uh, in that case, uh, the exports would have ri uh, would have risen because the for uh, the foreign goods would have been expensive and the locally produced goods were cheaper in that way the imports would have fallen because the imported goods were expensive and um, the goods would have been uh, competitive in the world market because of uh, because they were cheaper right so let's look at another reason mm, let's say exchange rate changes in exchange rate Now, now let's say the price of rupees increases. The price of rupee increases, the currency ap currency appreciates. The price of dollar falls. The price of dollar falls. This increases your imports. Your imports increase your exports fall. We all know that when ex your exchange rate appreciates, the, <clears throat> the local currency uh, uh, is, expensive in, is, uh, is expensive than foreign currency, right? Uh, which means that foreign goods are cheaper than local, locally produced goods. This also means that your, uh, export, uh, your export goods are also expensive in the world market, which is why they get priced out and your exports fall while your imports rise. Right, and this leads to x minus m falling as a whole. On the other hand, let's say rupee depreciated, which means that dollar rose. When dollar rose, the imported goods were expensive as compared to locally produced goods, which is why imports fell and your export your local goods gain competitiveness in the world market because uh, they were cheaper exports rose and x minus m rose your ae rose this is the third reason uh, why there could be a shift in x minus m Lastly, a very generic one, the quality of goods. Now, let's say if the quality of local good 
rises. This would simply mean that your exports will rise and your imports sorry your imports will fall resulting in x minus m rising. On the other hand if foreign goods quality rows this would result in your exports falling and your imports rising causing a fall in net exports so so this is all about exports and imports uh, what affects the net exports and how uh, how it, how to show how the changes reflect in the exports and imports um, in the next video, we'll talk about the multiplier in the open economy, and this that will be the last video for aggregate expenditure.